that's Halvars experiment. So Halvars experiment set up to study the photoelectric effect. This is shown here. It consists of an evacuated quartz bulb with the two zinc plates cathode and a anode is placed. The plates are connected to a battery and a sensitive galvanometer. When an electromagnetic radiation like ultraviolet radiation is allowed to fall on plate C, which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, a yeah, current begins to flow, indicated by the deflection in the galvanometer. But when ultraviolet radiation is made to fall on A, there is no deflection in the galvanometer. This observation reveals that the particle emitted by the cathode plate C due to the photoelectric effect are negatively charged. These particles were found to be electrons. The absorbed current is known as a photoelectric current and is due to the flow of electrons. After the study of photoelectric effect by Halvesh, the scientists like J.J. Thompson, Leonard Richardson, Compton did a series of experiments to study the relationship between photoelectric current, the intensity of radiations, the velocity and kinetic energy of the electrons, photoelectrons, the dependence on the wavelength of the incident radiation used.